Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Victoria, here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading for Thursday, April 6th, 2023. Welcome in if you're new to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for every single one of you. Um, do me a favor there. Please check, especially if you enjoy this reading or if it resonates with you, please uh, check and see if you are subscribed and hit the notification bell and then you'll know whenever I put up a new reading. And uh, also um, hit like there on this video as well. Leave me a comment. Where are you watching from? What's going on? We are in full moon energy right now, right bang smack in the middle of it in the highest of intensity. So some of you may really be feeling this one. Um, we do have uh, some energy, some eclipse energy coming in already. And that is in two weeks and that's a solar eclipse in Aries. So there's a lot of changes going on. There's a lot of um, planetary shifts going on, some that we have never seen in our lifetime, Pluto and Aquarius, um, which brings in big changes, but slow ones sometimes, okay? So for some of you, things are speeding up, heating up, things are really, the ball is really rolling for you, and other people, it's like, okay, I got some important decisions to make, and you're figuring out, you know, what you need to change, where you need to find balance and harmony but this full moon does bring you balance and harmony uh really has you focusing on that okay making some important decisions and focusing on relationships as well check the uh full moon in libra readings that i already have posted for you i'll put the link to the readings down below just one video and it's all time stamped there for you so let's have a look and see what we've got for you guys today uh so i do have your reading here and i do have the um, Moonology Manifestation deck here as well. So I'll pull a card right at the end. But right now, this is so interesting. This is, I barely got a chance to shuffle this. I do a pre-shuffle before I turn the camera on. But we got this one flipping up for you guys. So life purpose. What a fitting card for right now, okay? Um, some of you might be really sitting in this energy of meditation and contemplation. You might be doing a little bit of soul searching right now. Why am I here? What am I meant to do? I'm not happy. How do I get happy? Um, so some of you could really have some very profound insights right about now. And sometimes when we recognize when we come into alignment with and when we follow our life purpose, this brings about enormous change and quite often very difficult decisions with it. And part of this moon energy that we're in is putting a spotlight, shining a spotlight on your relationships. Sometimes when we evolve, we grow, we really do assess the people that we're connected with right now. Are they in alignment with you? Do you feel good after being with, with the people in your life? Or do you feel tired and drained? Which one sounds better? Which one would you rather spend more time with? So your relationships may be evolving and your outlook um, and your connection to people in your life may be evolving. But I feel like some of you are being called by a higher power today. Trust your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams. Uh, it sounds kind of cliche. We say that all the time, but it really is, uh, really is what we're called to do. And with that tree, um, the tree can represent you know, your growth, planting roots can also, ref um, it can also represent a reflection, right? We've got the mirrored tree. We can also have a look at our own personal duality, right? Our, uh, our face, our light that we shine out into the world, but then we've got our shadow side there as well. So some of you may have something that is illuminated at this time. You may have something that comes to light at this time, whether it's from someone else or whether it's from you. Okay, your subconscious is kind of highlighting something there for you. Um, but some of you may also be recognizing um, parts of your shadow self. And I know it's a big energy. It's a big energy here for a daily reading. Um, it's not what I intended when when I first pulled out the cards. I'm like, oh, I'm going to make these a little bit shorter. Um, but anyway, uh, it is what it is. So you might really be doing um, a little bit of a deep dive within what is blocking you, what is standing in your path, what are your patterns, habits, behaviors, belief systems? Are they still working for you or is it time to make change? 
change. So yeah, you might be doing just a little bit of shadow work um, there, okay? Uh, so it can be really beneficial. But for some of you here, you could actually really benefit as well from connecting with nature. But your life purpose really spotlighting, you know, are you doing the things that make you happy? Are you doing the things that are called, you are called to do, right? That make you feel fulfilled. Okay. That's always a big key indicator that, Hey, I'm meant to do this, right? I feel good when I'm doing it. I'm good at it, right? I enjoy it. It's like time flies by. So perhaps some of you are really coming into alignment and making some very interesting decisions. We've got the fool card, the seven of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So huh, yeah, I love it. You know what? I so love it when the cards come out uh, like this. The fool taking a leap forward, starting something new, trying new things, having a sense of adventure and getting out and having fun. This is that new beginning that's here. And this is the fool 2.0. So for some of you, you get a second chance at something here with this full moon. There's something here around you today, probably, oh, um, probably really coming to light in the next couple weeks where maybe you thought that you had a shot at something and you lost it. Well, now you've got a second chance. Fool 2.0. Some of you here are elevating your current circumstances, your relationships, right? How do I take something to the next level? You've completed like the first cycle of your journey and now you're ready to start the next one. So it is an energy of elevating as well. You might be really um, paying attention to your relationships and your partnerships, um, especially, you know, those in your home environment and also your working environment. So we do have the four of pentacles that's coming in here for you as well. And four is about stability, security, having a good, strong foundation, but it, it's, it's also related to home and career, right? Our family, where we live, um, who we surround ourselves with, who we connect with, right? Whether we're making money while we're doing that or whether it is our um, home environment. Are we feeling good? Are we feeling um, like things need to change? So the full card can certainly represent that there's a different way or a new way um, or a better way of doing things. It's also a card of having fun. Okay, going out, having an adventure, um, getting together with your friends. It's a card of companionship. Okay, just taking a, a leap forward, just jumping right into something, getting out, having a good time, having fun and living your best life. What does that look like to you? You're thinking about it. The Seven of Pentacles is here. So, you know, for some of you, you are figuring out that your better, best way forward, you're thinking about something, you're contemplating about something. Okay, and you're looking at the opportunities, the possibilities. And when we get the seven of pentacles, you are assessing a situation or devising a strategy. So for some of you today, you are um, figuring something out. You're taking your time. You're thinking about how to fix something. You're thinking about what's in, what the next steps to take are. This could be in your business just on a daily, right? This can be in your business, your work life. Maybe you got a project and you're kind of stuck, right? You need to take it up to the 10 and you're kind of stuck at the seven and you're like, ugh, I'm like, oh, I'm a fresh out of ideas. Okay. And the fool brings some fresh life to you and uh, helps you come up with some new ideas and figure out how to take something up to the next level or how to get something done. You may actually want to try something a little bit different. The seven of pentacles. Sometimes we take, we assess our situation. Um, we look at where we are at right now, and then we look at a different way, right? A different possibility. How do I really get this thing back on track or how do I get things done a little bit faster? So the fool, you could certainly be, uh, figuring out a different way of doing things. Okay. Or you're breathing fresh life into something. So the seven of pentacles is, is, um, quite often very important. It's not necessarily a card of like action or anything like that. We've got the fool there to do that for us, right? So um, it's like first we assess, we figure something out, and then we spring into action with that fool card. So it could be a day here where you're taking things a little bit easy, taking things um, slow. You're not necessarily rushing into anything because you've got to figure something out before you take that step. There is a little, though a little bit of danger here for you danger will robinson okay about leaping into something before assessing a situation so if you're feeling a little bit impulsive this energy is saying aha uh -huh, hold on a second step right back for a minute make sure that you're that you're on the right track and then um and then take that leap forward 
but I think here some of you might be contemplating change. But we do have the Four of Pentacles. So like I said, the Fours and the Four of Pentacles do represent, <laughs> um, do represent an element of stability and security. But the Four of Pentacles, this can represent a couple of different things. You may either need to open yourself up to new ideas, new ways of doing things, because sometimes we hold on to something too tight. Sometimes we are hell-bent on doing things one way or um, following one single path forward. And, you know, sometimes we've got to loosen the purse strings a little bit. So we just need to be a little bit aware of holding on to something too tight and not being open to ideas or opportunities or possibilities. The Four of Pentacles also does show you with the Seven of Pentacles today, some of you are assessing your finances right now, okay? And this is a really good time to do it right? Because we do have Mercury going retrograde in Taurus um, the day after the eclipse. And so, but up until then, everything is kind of all tickety-boo. So in this energy, you might be assessing your money, your finances, your investments, how you make your money, how you spend your money, okay? So this could just be bringing in this energy here where you are taking the time to figure out where you can put more money away for the future, thinking about, you know, have my investments grown um, with the Seven of Pentacles or do I need to kind of diversify my interests, pull my money out um, and, uh, you know, maybe keep my interest and then put the principal somewhere. So, you know, you might even be trying to balance your family family budget. Okay, the money thing can really come up at this time. All right. I think some of you also here might be getting something, getting some sort of money rewards, something because the seven of pentacles, yes, it can be one of contemplation, assessment, um, figuring things out, but it can also be one of abundance blossoming in your life and something coming to fruition a little bit faster than what you thought that it would be. And this can really help, um, help your, uh, your, you know, your sense of stability and security. And we do have new with the Fool card. So this can be something very exciting coming in for you guys. Um, maybe not necessarily right today, um, but in the next two weeks, right? And I know it's a daily, but, um, you know, but we do have some bigger energy coming in for you in the Fool card, right? This can um, certainly set the stage for future success for you. So there could be something here that comes to fruition for you right now. And the Full Moon does bring that, right? Brings in decisions, assessments, brings in reflection and can also bring in the culmination of something that you have previously manifested in your world. Think back to September of 2022 when we had a new moon in Libra. What were you setting your intentions for? What were your goals? What were your dreams? What were you manifesting in? Because some of you here, now is your time. And now is your time to shine. So and this can really um, be some doors opening for you. Relationships where you commit to things, how you spend your money, how you save your money. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, something a little bit better on the horizon, the full 2.0, right? Something um, that you may need to just jump right into. Okay. But your, your cards here also say today to have some fun. All right. The Fool card is about having fun. You might be worried about spending some money, okay? And the Seven of Pentacles, you're thinking about, you know, okay, I have an, I have an opportunity to go out and, you know, have a good time. Maybe I'm going out for dinner. Maybe someone's invited me something to a concert or something like that. And in that energy, it's like, um, you know, it's like, can I afford it? And the Four of Pentacles says, yes, you can afford it, okay? But spend wisely, don't go overboard. So instead of getting, you know, uh, the top shelf cocktail and the steak and lobster, maybe you get the uh, lowbrow bottom shelf uh, margarita off of the uh, behind the bartender and you stick with chicken, right? So, you know, it can be that kind of compromise that you do for yourself there, okay? But certainly something, uh, some very good energy for you today. Very positive, very calm, okay? Relatively calm energy, but with a little little sidebar of excitement there okay and the card that flips out of the deck here we've got believe in your good luck and we do have okay we do have on the 11th of April so next week we've got the luckiest day of the year so believe in your good luck 
right? When we think positively, when we believe that anything is possible, then everything is possible. Simple, okay? So believe in your good luck. Some of you do have some good luck, good fortune come in here today. Others of you, you're being reminded that you are lucky, that you are abundant, and that there's good fortune headed your way. Believe it, embrace it, affirm it. All right, this is the full moons. Our moon energy at all, any time is a time of saying those affirmations, banishing negative energy and embracing the good. I'll leave that there for you folks. I hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out your moon readings and um, I'll see you tomorrow.